Here's how to use the filter option in Excel. This data sheet here shows a list of employees at my pretend store, but what if I only wanted to see the ones that are part-time? I can do that by clicking data at the top and then by clicking the filter button underneath it. The button will stay pressed down and some little drop-down arrows will appear at the top of each column. It's possible that you might be working on a worksheet that someone else has already worked in, and those drop-down arrows are already there. In that case, the filter button is already pressed down, so you don't need to do everything I just said. You may also have a worksheet that does not have column headers. If not, this process will still work. It'll just look a little bit different than what I'm showing you here. So if I only want the part-timers to appear, I go to the column that specifies whether they're part-time or full-time and click the pull down and then unclick all the boxes except for part-time and then click okay. Excel has updated the view to show only the part-time people. It did not delete the other people. They're just tucked away right now. I'll show you how to bring them back in a minute. But suppose I only wanted to show part-time cashiers. I can filter the list down further by going to the position column and selecting only the cashier box and clicking OK. So now the list is narrowed down a lot more. There are many ways to get all the people to show again. I could simply do everything in reverse that I just did. I'll click the pull down arrow for this column, then reselect all the boxes and click OK. And then I'll go to this column and do the same thing. Or I can just click this clear button at the top, which will reset all the filters at once. There's another thing in this filtering process that you may find useful. You may have some missing items in your data. Take for instance, this employee. They don't have information for some of the cells. When I do that pull down, it gives me the option of selecting blanks. And by doing so, it'll isolate all the people who have blanks in that column. I have only one, but finding these blanks can be useful for you if you're trying to do a cleanup of some data. And that's how you do filtering. If this tutorial was helpful, please leave a like. If you'd like to learn about the sort function in Excel, click the link on the screen. Have a good day, everybody.